Hey guys, what's up? It's Legit, back again with another episode of Lawless London. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me over the last few weeks with these videos. So if you do enjoy this, drop a comment down below and I'll dump a fat like on it if it makes me laugh. So guys, enjoy. A group of criminals who stole thousands of pounds worth of mobile phones from shops in South London have been jailed. During the two week spate of moped enabled burglaries in August 2018, seven stores were targeted. The following defendants appeared in London in a Crown Court for sentencing on Wednesday the 6th of March after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit burglary between the 14th of August and the 29th of August 2018 at London in a Crown Court. Troy Adolphus, 24, born the 11th of the 3rd 1994 of Hamilton Road, Thornton Heath, was sentenced to two and a half years imprisonment. George Fenton, 23 years old, born the 30th of the 4th, 1995, of Carsham Road, Sutton, was sentenced to two and a half years imprisonment for conspiracy to commit burglary and a further eight months for possession with intent to supply cannabis, which he pleaded guilty to. These sentences will run consecutively. Reese Raymond Roy Buttery, 23 years old, born the 21st of the 3rd, 1995, of Knights Hill, SE27, was sentenced to two and a half years imprisonment. The court heard that between Tuesday, the 14th of August, and Wednesday, the 29th of August, 2018, the men targeted the following stores and stole more than £50,000 worth of mobile phones. The O2 store, High Street Sutton, on Tuesday, the 14th of August. The EE store, High Street Sutton, Thursday, the 16th of August. The EE store, Balham High Road, Friday the 17th of August. The EE store, North Road, Croydon, Friday the 17th of August. EE store, Powys Street, Woolwich, Friday the 24th of August. The EE store, High Street, Bromley, Sunday the 26th of August. It was at the 7th location, the EE store in Rye Lane, Peckham, E15, that all three men were caught in the act by local officers. They had spotted two mopeds at the location and noticed the entrance to the shop was smashed. This was between 1.18 and 1.20 hours in the morning of Wednesday the 29th of August. As the officers approached, Ventham climbed out from the shop and got onto the back of a moped, ridden by buttery, and both made off. Adufus came out the shop and tried to run from officers. He was tasered, detained and arrested at the scene where his mobile phone was also seized. Ventham and Buttery returned on their moped and tried to help Adolphus escape, but were unsuccessful and again they fled. Officers from Operation Venice, which is dedicated to tackling moped-enabled crime, led the investigation and connected the defendants to the linked series of similar offences. The team searched numerous premises across South London and obtained CCTV footage and phone evidence which directly linked Adolphus to the six incidents. Analysis of his phone linked Ventham to all of the offences and Buttery to the last incident. On September the 11th, Ventham was arrested outside his home address where he attempted to flee but was caught and detained. A search of his home uncovered a large quantity of drugs which he was further arrested for. On the 13th of September, Buttery was arrested by Operation Venice officers outside his home address. Chief Inspector Jim Corbett from Operation Venice said, these criminals callously burgled a number of mobile phone shops for their own financial gain. Not only did they cause damage to the premises, but they disrupted trade and caused financial loss to the retailers. Trying to help their fellow criminal Adolphus escape police custody shows the attempts these individuals will go to to try and remain at large and continue committing their crimes. Not only is it due to the work of the officers responding to the call, but also the tenacity of the Venice investigation team, who linked the three to their other crimes across London and gained evidence against them that has achieved this sentence today. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, check out my brand new merchandise down below and hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. Till next time, ride safe guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.